Here we are in Trento for rest day three of the 2018 Giro d'Italia, and Ryan is going to show us around the Team Dimension Data bus. Thank you very much for having us, Ryan. Oh, no problem. Uh, exactly. I felt a bit rude intruding on your bus without being invited in, so I think you're going to show us around. Yeah, definitely. Let's just have a look. Cheers. Oh. Great. First impressions of this bus, it is quite warm. Do you, do you guys not have aircon or? We have a European management, European bus driver. So as they call it, the bronchitis machine. Uh, we, we, yes, it's always hot like this, sometimes hotter. Yeah, because, because aircon is believed to give you all kinds of illnesses, right? So you 100%. can't have it on. Oh, even at 21 degrees, uh, it's game over, end of, end of career, so keep it off. It's just sweat and That's... get heat exhaustion instead. Great. <laughs> The front seats are always for, for the big dogs, like mm -hmm. the Cavendishes, the Eddies. So mm -hmm. this race, it's um, Ben O'Connor, the, the, yeah. the young pup, but uh, yeah. the riding like a big dog, and Louis, <laughs> Louis Mankies. Yeah. And then kind of the lower caliber rider you are, the further back you sit. You sit so I'm right at the back there in the corner. That's it's actually spot. the best seat, but yeah. I kind of keep an eye on everyone, see what's yeah. going on. It's, it's cool. almost the quickest to leave. Do the seats swivel? Yeah, they do. Do you want to give us a demo? Yeah, why not? Sit in Ben's seat, he won't know. He's not here. No, he's not. We won't tell him, he'll <laughs> never know. Oh, great, don't, you don't. So, you know, you've got full, nah. oh, cool. like a 90 oh. degree range of motion. It's just so, I can see why this is the prime seat, because you have your own little table. You, you can also put your legs up. If yeah, that or flexible, what, and put your seat. feet on the shoulders of the driver. That's, yeah, that's pretty much a nap. <laughs> Eek, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Every rider has their own little bin, it looks like a little sort yeah. of compartment. Exactly. Helmet hanger. Yeah, it's quite nifty. Cool. So everyone's got their own their own little yeah area, the allocation with their, their rubbish bin, and then their uh, charging station for their Garmin and phone, which is probably the most important thing. Yeah. Um, and then baby wipes, sun cream, chamois cream, and mm -hmm. glasses yeah. cleaner. Definitely want that in your own compartment. Oh, I you think. Do. You don't yeah. want to share yeah. that. Yeah. Good and, point. And yeah. It's often a big fight for 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 that. So. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Copy of the Garibaldi down there. Just handy reading on the on yes. the way to the stage. Yeah. Check out the course. I mean, the first four days, you, you pretty much you, you memorize everything word for word. Mm -hmm. but by the second race day, it's just it's all the same. You yeah. Know, you kind of don't even want to look at it because it just looks like it's uphill and it's just it's, it's painful <laughs> to look at. So just keep yeah. it there, but you mainly use it as a cup holder. <laughs> yeah, or under the front wheel for the turbo. That's exactly, yeah, yeah. You know, in, <laughs> it's a bit of a brick, the Garibald, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's, it's as big as a Bible, basically. It's ridiculous. You actually need to buy extra excess baggage when you fly home because <laughs> it just takes up half your, half yeah. your luggage allowance. <laughs> Music system? Printer. No. Printer, of course. Printer. Um, so I think the the directors print um, stem stickers there yeah. and all information, yeah. which yeah. very seldomly gets looked at. But it's very <laughs> important that we have have a printer there. <laughs> cool. Um, that's also just above the, the bathroom, so we've got a hidden bathroom down there. Nice. It's quite important. I mean, it's, uh -huh. it's definitely overused. Um, mm -hmm. But in a grand tour, you know, having your own bathroom is, is yeah. really important. Otherwise, you have to brave the crowds to dash to some portaloo that doesn't exist normally in Italy. In Italy it and, exist, and then yeah. everyone wants your signature whilst you're trying to go to the toilet in the bushes or something. 100%. Gross. So, yeah, having that <laughs> privacy in your own is, is, is really important. And then moving into our kitchen, <laughs> um, generally we've got all the pre race food sitting here, which is quite nice. And then after the stage, there'll be post race food rice, couscous, omelettes, chicken. Which Ooh. is really prepared by our, it's prepared by our chef. It's prepared and eaten straight away. I hope yes. we don't want to. Can we open the cupboards? Yeah, sure. This is like okay. I don't feel quite so rude because I've been guided around. But nice muesli. So there's the muesli. Chewing gum. Nuts. And nuts. Oh, honey. Tasty. All the sauces. Balsamic glaze. Nice. And then that, that is the fridge. The one fridge. Ah. So, so this side has got some um, the waters. Is that beer? No, it's uh, some of Chino. It's, oh, you look, you sound sad. It tastes like beer. Um, <laughs> also, generally in the last week, sometimes it's substitutes with beer. Yeah. But, but for now, it's, it's still that. Nice. And this is generally with the yogurts and the chocolates. So this is my mm. fridge. Um, <laughs> It's not actually that well stocked up at the moment. So Maybe have a word. I'm it's rest day. They need to be shopping for the chocolate now. <laughs> because it's very that. important for morale in the final week. 100%. That's the yeah. only thing that's the only reason why I'm carrying on. <laughs> And then this is our, our nutrition, um, so we're fortunate enough to have SIS, and this is also hoarded before every stage. Yeah, yeah the, the good flavours, right? You go and make sure you've got a good 10 of them for tomorrow's stage two. 100%, I already know where they do it. So the chocolate is far back right, and... Uh, is that the best, do you reckon? For now, I mean, the bananas are left, so don't touch, the, don't go left, just Ugh, go straight to the right. Yeah. I don't actually know what's in here, yeah, and it's locked, maybe I'm not supposed to know what's in here. <laughs> that's more beer, probably for the staff, that's the staff fridge for the beer, I reckon. Exactly. That's probably why it is so, so well <laughs> yeah. up. Is that, what's it, is uh, TV system? Yeah, so TV system, uh, Wi-Fi as well. 
Yeah. To ensure that you get Wi-Fi, on the, of course. Otherwise, it's it's locked. Though. The riders the riders don't have access to it. What? Yeah. So depending which rider you are, you know, maybe you can try and get. You're the not Wi-Fi. serious. Seriously. Like it's like almost like oxygen these days. It's, Surviving that Wi-Fi is. I mean, I think we they choose Wi-Fi over air conditioning. And then as we get further back, this is the fun cupboard. This is where we have a lot more snacks. Um, snacks. It's just spare coffee, extra coffee, and uh, extra olive oil and things like that. Mm. Here we have the shower, so we're also quite fortunate we have um, That's good, yeah. shower slash um, shoe, shoe cupboard. Do you have to shower with the vacuum cleaner or is that just temporary? No, no, I think that's, that's just a story for temporary storage. <laughs> and what's this? What's this baby? So this is a Quebec bike. I mean, as you know, we, we ride yeah. for a charity and uh, this is our Giro edition. The gold awesome. One. Um, at the Giro, so this was for last year, the 100th Giro. Um, yeah. We were trying to get 100 girls on bikes. The campaign this yeah. year is to get 1,000 girls on bikes. Brilliant. But it's still great that we've got the pink bike yeah, with yeah. us to keep us motivated. And it's, That's cool. It's, Although it does look like they might have to adjust the handlebars before yeah. you ride it anywhere. Oh yes, oh yes, definitely. It's beautiful. Oh. Yeah, the riders take their morning weights. Oh, really? Before each stage, after each stage. So, really? Yeah, if we blur out my weight, I'd be, I'd be appreciate it. <laughs> no one's weight should ever be on camera. <laughs> I, they did this to me with measurements for oh, really? kit fitting. It was horrific. No, no it's, it's something you don't That's watch harsh. It. But that's presumably also a health measure to check that exactly. you're eating enough and well hydrated. And also they, to see if you lose a lot in the stage. That yeah, you, yeah. You kind of Rehydrate, finish. yeah. Because that's good, yeah. And as long as it's not like a stick to be with a like, <laughs> lack of chocolate. Thanks so much, Ryan. It's been a pleasure. And I think we've got a much better insight into the interior of this bus. Thanks to Ryan's insight. Oh, great, no problem, you're welcome. So uh, Ryan has gone to put his feet up because it is after all a recovery day. And we thought we'd check out the underside of the bus where there's loads of exciting stuff. Uh, so here we go. This is cleaning products, I think for cars, not bikes. A load of hoses, sponges. We have the time trial warm-up fans. Some awnings, I think. Washing machines, very important. Nobody likes hand washing cycling kit. Drying machine. Uh, these are posts to put up, fences to keep the public at bay when riders are Stacking, you know, bikes are lined up and riders are warming up. Bike stands, very important, obviously. Elite turbo trainers, nice. Well, it's been fascinating. I think it's been super interesting having a rider show us around their team bus. Thanks to Ryan, uh, who you can see up there on the side of the bus. Um, if you'd like to check out what he eats for breakfast, you could click here for the video that we did with riders earlier this Giro.